very much for asking. How you, are you doing today? I'm doing fine. Do you mind if I record this call for customer service and future lawsuits? No, sir. It's fine. Oh, thank you. Um, I, I've been on the do. This is AT and T, Carrie. Yes. Um, I've asked them several times, and that they call. I'm seeming. I'm getting calls every day, two, three times a day. It, I apologize, sir, for this inconvenience. Um, let me. See. How can you make it up to me? What I could do is I could uh, place your number on the do not call list. Your telephone number is the six one nine four two one forty one twenty one. Correct. That's correct. But AT and T, uh, every day I'm getting two, three phone calls with the recording, and then a nice person like yourself. And I've hit the button several times to be disconnected. Um, under the fe under a federal law on the do not call list, I'm entitled to compensation. Is there a way you're going to reduce my bill? Um, the reason why I'm giving you a call, sir, is to let you know <coughs> that we do have different um, options available to you for TV, home phone, and internet service. Yeah, I already have Cox Cable, though. Okay, sir, and, and I completely understand. Uh, what I'm going to do for you is I'm going to be placing um, your number on the do not call list. I did verify your number, which is the 619. Where are you calling yeah. from? Where you, where you sound like you're far away. I'm, in, I'm located in Arizona. Arizona. What's the weather like there right now? It's 69 here in San Diego. It's about the same. It's like 70. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Yes. Well, thank you. You're very nice. And thank you, sir. I will be placing your number on the do not call list, okay? I appreciate your help. I get. Do I owe you a margarita or a latte? <laughs> no, sir. That's okay. I can send it. I got that Star Trek device, the transporter or whatever. I can send it right. Yep. Don't tell me you can't use a latte or a margarita at 2.40 in the afternoon. No. <laughs> I'm okay. Thank you. You're welcome. And that's, you know, sometimes... I just want to see if I can banter. I don't always want to terrorize the telemarketer. She seemed like a nice girl. She was in Phoenix and everything like that. She's doing her job, and the big dummies just have a computer that keeps dialing and dialing. And, dialing. and honestly, AT&T calls two, three times a day. Um, we give them a lot of money because I still have some landlines and features here, and they're trying to sell uh, ba basically uh, cable TV and all that other stuff. Um, and that probably not, she might not even work for at and she works for a third party. Um, sometimes, you know, it's just basically, can you engage with people, practice their skills? Um, you know, I, you, you've seen my other videos and what I do to telemarketers and everything. But she just seemed like a nice girl. I didn't want to ruin her day and everything like that. Maybe, maybe she went out shopping today and there was no toilet paper or Purell. <laughs> Listen, you guys have a nice day. Uh, practice those sales skills all the time and you'll see magic happen because nobody deserves success more than you. You knew I was going to say that, right? And uh, a lot of good stuff on my webpage, ClaudeDiamond.com. Take care. Thanks for joining me. Thank you very much for asking.